Hi guys, I hope you're really, really well. So I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful bubble and squeak. It's a potato dish that embraces many, many leftover vegetables. So I've got carrots here, you could use turnips, swede, I've got some beautiful parsnips. But there's one rule, right, there's one rule. As long as half of it is potatoes, right, a nice Maris Piper or King Edward, then that's what kind of binds it all together and gives you that incredible crispy outside, fluffy inside. But pretty much, any veg, including greens by the way. You know, spring greens, kale, Brussels sprouts, they can all go in a bubble and squeak. So it all happens here in a pan. A little bit of olive oil and a knob of butter. And get that on a medium high heat. As that starts to kind of bubble up and kind of melt, we're gonna go in with some herbs. So I've got some sage in there, just a couple of leaves torn in. Rosemary, thyme, you could do one herb or a mixture of. I've got some lovely chestnuts, just kind of crack them in half. Going in there, beautiful. Let's introduce some seasoning, salt and pepper, and then we'll go in with the all important potatoes. Now these are leftover potatoes here. So five, 600 grams of potatoes goes in the pan. Just break them up with your hand. And then the other five, 600 grams, it can be carrots, it can be turnips, it can be parsnips, it can be swede. And then you can even get pretty much any greens you want in here. Just chop it up, tear it up. So get yourself a masher and just have a little mash up. As I do that, you can see the fluffiness of the potatoes and that's a very important part. And then kind of just see how I'm tapping it into place and that's to make it have full contact with the side of the pan. And then we'll leave that for just a couple of minutes to get golden and crispy. Then we'll come back, mix it up again, so the outside to the inside, pat it back down again and then, and then, and we'll do this for like 20 minutes. That's had about two minutes now. Now I'm gonna take the crispiness. I'll try and toss it, which is not what you normally do, but I'll show you what's happening underneath. Can you see that? And listen to the sound. That's bubble and squeak right there. And what we've done is we're basically now mashing in the outside into the inside. So look, once I've given it a good mix, then I'm gonna pat it back into its shape again. I'm gonna keep just pushing this down and make a bit of an extra effort to push this into shape. So this has had about 20 minutes now. You can see it's shrunk. You know, it's now kind of in the form of a large potato cake. So all I do now is get a nice like board like this or a platter if you want and literally just turn this over like that and that my friends is your bubble and squeak, look at it. So look, I'm gonna kind of just take this into sort of a brunch vibe. So same pan, so a one pan wonder. I'm gonna take some nice eggs. So just a little bit of olive oil in the pan like that. I might steal a couple more sage leaves. The smell is amazing. And then we're just gonna crack on the side the egg. Little pinch of black pepper and some seasoning. So just spoon some of that lovely hot oil over the eggs just to take that rawness away. So you've got lovely sage fried eggs with just a simple little salad of watercress. So just a kiss of oil, a little swig of vinegar. But if we look into that bubble and squeak, just look. Gorgeous, hot, steamy, crispy. Just gonna put some lovely watercress around here. I've got a pickle here called Pick -a Lily. Again, very British. So there you go, old school bubble and squeak with pick -a lily watercress, and some sage fried eggs. Right, let's place them up. Get a nice wodge of that hot and steaming bubble and squeak. Let's have a lovely fried egg on there like that. A few more bits of watercress, and a little hit of that pick -a lily Mmm, for me, that's got so many memories. I absolutely love it. So guys, if you want this recipe and way more, then please check out my Christmas cookbook. It's really, really good, full of so many wonderful things for the festive time of year. Take care.